and welcome to Face to Face with me. I'm Daisy Anwar in a program that brings the world to your screen and where we meet people who make a difference to our lives. When it comes to solving some of the world's biggest problems, such as eradicating diseases, governments often cannot do it alone. This is where philanthropists can play a role, as their wealth can make a huge impact in finding solutions to some of these problems. In this episode, I talk to the world's richest man, Bill Gates, a successful entrepreneur turned philanthropist, on the importance of giving in order to make a world of difference. Here on Face to Face with Bill Gates. Most of us are familiar with the man who co-founded the world's largest personal computer software company, Microsoft who, as of April 2014, is the world's richest man according to Forbes magazine. He is William Henry Bill Gates III, or simply known as Bill Gates. Now more a philanthropist than an executive, Bill Gates spends most of his time on philanthropic works, including visiting Indonesia early last month to attend the launching of Indonesia Health Fund, the creation of which was initiated by Dr. Datuk Sri Tahir of the Tahir Foundation, together with his Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. Both Bill and Dr. Tahir already donated a total of 207 million US dollars last year to the Global Health Fund. And this year, the Indonesia Health Fund was set up to encourage more wealthy Indonesians to become philanthropists and help towards solving the country's pressing health matters. At the launch of Indonesia Health Fund, Tahir has already convinced eight Indonesian business people to sign an MOU, each pledging five million US dollars over the next five years to tackle dengue fever, HIV AIDS, malaria and tuberculosis, as well as expand access to family planning programs. With 40 million US dollars pledged to the fund, both Bill Gates and Tahir will provide matching funds by donating another 40 million US dollars. I'm interested to understand more about the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation's involvement in Indonesia. And also now that Bill Gates is no longer leading Microsoft at the helm, I'm curious to know about his current activities and what keep him busy and motivated these days. Okay, Mr. Gates and Pat Tahir, congratulations on the launch of the Indonesia Health Fund. The minister said that it's a historic event. How, how do you feel about it? What is the significance, do you think, of this fund? Well, it's quite amazing. It represents uh, incredible generosity. Uh, and this set of resources will go to help the health of the poorest. Mm -hmm. uh, tuberculosis is still a big problem. Uh, getting drugs out to everyone uh, it, and we've got the expertise of our foundations uh, together with Global Fund to make sure that this money has a, uh, the biggest possible impact. So it's, it's drawing uh, very serious resources into an important cause. Mm -hmm. You're excited about it. I'm, I'm amazed and excited. And the fact that it's in Indonesia because I know you're a good friend of Indonesia. Is, does it hold a particular significance for you having it here? Yeah, Indonesia's made a lot of progress, but in health areas like TB uh, mm -hmm. or getting vaccines to all the children, there's still work to be done. And so when Dr. Tahir first came to me and said he was thinking about uh, giving to health-related causes, we talked about a partnership mm -hmm. to do that together. And so that was a, an incredible thing when he uh, made a huge commitment that we uh, uh, did in partnership and then he suggested if I uh, come down mm -hmm. uh, that he might get together this Indonesia Health Fund and so now I've gotten to meet these eight other people uh, who are doing uh, similar things and uh, this is quite unique to have a country that uh, has both success but health needs uh, orchestrating a lot of the successful people uh, to make sure these these problems are, are solved. Mm -hmm. And the Indonesian government's very open or very happy with this kind of initiative. Well, what was their initial response? Was it difficult to get them to you know on board? Well, for them, uh, 
the idea that the, the resources and the engagement of these leaders will be stronger uh, in these health needs, it's all good for, for them. I've, I know the health minister quite well because mm -hmm. she's the chairman of the Global Fund, which is a very important thing. Uh, and um, my wife's very involved in uh, women's uh, reproductive rights, access to mm -hmm. contraception. And so she got to know a lot of people in the government, including the health minister as part of that. Indonesia, you know, it's, it's very, very important. Uh, it's set a good example on some things, but th there's still a lot of kids who, who we could do better. And so the, gov the government's a good partner. They have no reluctance uh, mm -hmm. to see uh, philanthropy complementing their, their work. Mm -hmm. Pat Zahir, I'm interested to know, how did you start collaborating with Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, which is you know, very, very prominent? Uh, Foundation. Yeah, I think uh, everybody knows that the Gates <laughs> Foundation have done a lot for this, the whole world. And uh, I'm honored that uh, because the money, most of the money is go to Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in fact, that actually, if you calculate by, by mathematics, you know, uh, most of the money go to Indonesia, which, which is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, more important is, uh, this is the reformation of philanthropic in the, like, uh, our old culture in Indonesia. Uh, it's done by individual and occasional, not, regu not regularly, mm -hmm. not sustainable, and no continuity, and more on the emotions side. But we work together with Kate, Kate Foundation. We learn the, the discipline, uh, systematic, well-planned, and they have already added before the money was distributed, and they have a very uh, 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 vigorous uh, uh, mm -hmm. audit about how to distribute the money and very focused about the, 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 the object. So we learn a new thing for the reformation of the philanthropic. And it make, it make me as a donator become more disciplined and more planned you know, for longer period. Mm -hmm. We don't do by emotion, but we do by systematic plan. Was it hard to get other philanthropists on board? I mean, like you mentioned, in Indonesia, we often give, donate, but it's not sustainable. It's not That's within right. a framework or That's something right. which yeah. is much more organized and formal. Is, is it difficult to get people to be excited uh, and be part of it? I think uh, we need some education. We need some perfecting. We need some information, more information. Uh, this is the beginning. I do believe that by the visiting of Mr. Bill Gates comes, and today uh, most of the people uh, have been witnessing that you know, this is a new milestone for the front of it. I do believe that in the coming days, there's more and more people will participate. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Gates, is this the first collaboration of its kind that, that you've done? Absolutely. And uh, it's got me thinking that uh, I need to find people like Dr. Tahir in, <laughs> in many other countries. Uh -huh.